Good day mga kamatinics, this is Sir Jay once again. And for today's topic, I am going to discuss to you about factoring by greatest common monomial factor. Okay, before we proceed with our lesson, I want you to subscribe first to my channel and hit, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo palagi sa aking mga i-upload na videos at pakilike na rin ang video ito. Okay, so let's proceed now. Number one example, write 12x cubed y raised to 5 minus 20x raised to 5 y squared z in complete factored form. Okay, so isulat natin siya in its complete factored uh, form. Okay, let's start. Yung 12x cubed natin, okay, unahin muna natin yung 12. Okay, yung mga number muna yung number. We have 12 at saka 20, right? Okay. So, ano-ano ba yung mga factors ni 12? It can be 1, okay, 1 times 12, at uh, 2, diba? 1, 2, kasi uh, 2 times 6, right? 1, 2, or 3. Okay, 3, tapos 4. Okay, 1 times uh, 2, at uh, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Ayan. And then, yung ating 20 naman, it can be 1, uh, 2, 5. Okay, pwede. 1 times 10, then 2 times, uh, 1 times 20, uh, 2 times 10. So, we can also 4, 5. Okay? 4 times 5. Right? So, 1 times 2, uh, 1 times 10, at 1 times 10, then, so we have 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. Okay? So, ano ngayon ang kanyang greatest common? Yung greatest common dito sa ating, yung common factors nila is 1, 2, at saka 4. 1, 2 and 4. Ano yung greatest common factor dito? So, yung greatest common factor is itong 4. Okay? So, 4 yung ating gagamitin. Next, tingnan natin ngayon dito, class. Okay, titingnan natin ngayon yung kanyang mga variables. Okay? So, x cubed at saka x raised to 5. So, kung ano yung mas mababa, di ba pareho sila na x? So, kung ano yung mas mababa ang exponent, yun yung ating gagamitin na variable. So, x cubed, Yan yung ating gagamitin na variable. Next, sa so y naman tayo. We have y raised to 5 at saka y squared. So, alin yung mas mababa, mababa dito sa kanila? Yung y squared. So, ito yung ating gagamitin. So, yung z, wala naman siyang katulad na variable sa kabila. So, hindi na natin siya isasali. So, ito na ngayon yung ating greatest common monomial factor. Okay? The greatest common. Greatest common monomial factor. Okay, so ito na, ito na yun. Si 4x cubed y squared. Tapos, i-divide natin siya ngayon. Okay, dito sa ating ba meron tayong 12x cubed Okay, 12x cubed y raised to 5 minus 20x raised to 5 y squared Z. Okay, so i-divide natin sila ng 4x cubed, yung ating greatest common monomial factor. Okay, 4x cubed y squared. Okay, so i-divide na natin. 12 divided by 4 is 3. Okay, 3. And then, cancel na tong x cubed. So, y, divide, uh, y raised to 5 divided by y raised to 2, i-minus mo lang ang exponent. So, 5 minus 2, 3. So, yan ay magiging 3y u minus okay 20 divided by 4 is 5 then x divided uh, x raised to 5 divided by x cubed i minus mo lang ang kanilang exponent 5 minus 3 2 so x squared then cancel na tong y tapos kopyahin mo na lang itong z okay so ito yung kanyang quotient next is 
para mahanap natin yung kanyang complete factored form, imumultiply natin to. Itong ating quotient, itong quotient natin, imumultiply natin siya dito sa ating GCMF or Greatest Common Monomial Factor. So, 4x cubed y squared times 3y cubed minus 5x squared z. Okay, so ito yung ating final answer. Okay, so I hope na gets ninyo yung ating example number 1. Okay, let's proceed to example number 2. Okay, so 12x cubed minus 18xy plus 24x, write it in complete factored form. Okay, so unahin natin ulit yung ating mga numbers, 12, 18, at saka 24. 12, 18, and 24, ha? Okay, ayan. So yung 12 natin kanina, we have 1, uh, 2, 3, 4, at saka 6 and 12. Ayan. Right? Okay, next. Sa 18 naman, we have 1, uh, 2, we have 3, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ayan, 9 tapos 18. Okay, ayan. Yan yung mga factors ni 18. 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, at saka 18. Sa 24 naman, 1, uh, 2. Okay, 1, 2. Yung mga factors ni 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 6. Tapos 8. Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12. Tapos 24. Okay, so ano yung kanyang greatest, ano yung mga common factors natin? 1, 2, 3. Uh, greatest common factors nila, 1, 2, 3, 6. Ayan, mayroon sila pareho na 6. Parehong may 6. At 12, wala to, 18. Okay. Walang 12. Ayan. So, ang kanilang greatest common factors, ito yung kanilang mga common factors. Ha? Common factors. Ito yung mga common factors. 1, 2, 3, 6. Ano yung pinakamalaki? Itong 6. Okay. So, ito yung ating greatest common monomial factor. So, the greatest common monomial factor is 36. Ayan. 36 siya. Yung number pa lang yan. Yung number. Next is yung ating uh, what do you call this? Yung ating variable. So, mayroon tayong x cubed. May x dito at saka x. Okay. So, kopyahin mo lang yung x. Yung pinakamababa. So, x yung ating. Tapos yung y, wag mo na siyang isali kasi wala namang y dito eh. Yan. Wala namang ibang y na ano dyan. Puro lang naman yan x. Ayan. May x lang pareho. So, si x. Ayan. And then, ito na yung ating greatest common monomial factor. 36x. So, pagkatapos nyan, i-divide natin siya dito sa ating at 12x cubed minus 18xy plus 24x. So, i-divide na natin yung ating I know, 6x, hindi 36. Sorry, ba't nga ba yan naging 36? 6x. Yan yung ating greatest common monomial factor. Okay, so i-divide natin siya dito. 6x. Mag-divide tayo ng 6x. 6x. Ayan. So, 12 divided by 6, 2. Then, x cubed divided by x. I-minus mo lang. Automatic, mayroon yung 1 ha. Dyan, sa baba, may 1. Okay, may 1 yan. So, 3 minus 1, 2. So, yan ay x squared. Minus 18 divided by 6, 3. Cancel na yung x. So, si y na lang yung matitira. Plus, 24 divided by 6 is 4. Cancel na tong x. Ayan. So, 2x squared minus 3y plus 4. Ito yung kanyang 
uh, isa pang factor. So, therefore, yung ating complete factored form is 6x times the trinomial, trinomial 2x squared minus 3y plus 4. So, ito yung ating final answer. Ito na yung ating complete factored form. So, ito na ha, the complete factored form. Next, ito na yung final answer natin. Baka maguluhan kayo. Yan yung final answer. Okay, next. Okay, write 28x cubed z squared minus 14x squared y cubed plus 36yz raised to 4 in complete factored form. Okay, so we have here 14, 28, at saka 36. So, kagaya pa rin kanina. Okay, ano yung mga factors ni 14? We have 1, uh, 2, 7, at saka 14. Dito naman sa 28, we have 1 at uh, 2. Okay, tama. 2 at uh, wala siya sa 3. Sa 4. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, at uh, 12, 14. 13, 14. Okay, 14. Ayan, 14. Then, 28. Okay, next. 1, uh, 2 times at 18 times 2. Okay, yes, meron. 2. Tapos, uh, 3. 3 times 12. Right, oh, 3 times 12. Pwede siya, 3 times 12. Then, we have also... Uh, 4, may 4 din siya, and then 9, 4, uh, 5, 6, 9, okay, 4 times 9, 36, then uh, 10, 11, 12, tapos uh, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18. Chap, tapos 36. Yeah. So, 1 times uh, 36, 2 times 18, 3 times 12, or 4 times 9. So, ano yung kanyang greatest common factor? Ano yung mga common factors dito? 1, 2, uh, mayroon ba siyang 4? Wala. 7, 7, then, then 14, 14, 12, 36, 28, 28, wala. So, yung kanilang greatest common factor is 2. Okay, itong 2 lang. Itong 2. So, yung 2 yung kanyang a uh, greatest common factor ng ating mga numbers. So, yung greatest common monomial factor is equal to 2. Tapos, yung kanyang x naman, may x ba lahat? Okay, wala. Walang x lahat. May y ba lahat? Wala. Z, wala din. Okay, wala din ano hindi magkakapareho. Walang z, walang Yung isa, walang z. May x ba lahat? Wala. May y lahat? Wala. May z lahat? Wala. Okay, so 2 ang kanyang greatest common factor. Ito na yung greatest common monomial factor niya, 2. So, i-divide lang natin siya dito. At 28x cubed z squared minus 14x cubed x squared rather y cubed plus 36yz raised to 4. So, divide by 2. 
divide by 2 lang. Okay, so 28 divided by 2 is 14. X cubed. Z squared. Minus. 14 divided by 2 is 7. Uh, X squared. Y cubed. Plus. Uh, 36 divided by 2. Is. 18. 18 Y. Uh, Z. Raised to 4. Okay, so ito yung ating GCMF, which is 2, tapos yung ating, yung dinivide natin, so ito yun siya. So therefore, yung ating final answer is 2 times 14x cubed uh, z squared minus 7x squared y cubed. Plus 18y z raised to 4. So, ito ngayon yung ating final answer. Okay, so ito yung ating final answer. Okay, step 1. Ito yung ating step 1. Ay, ito pala step 1. Then, step 2 is yung hanapin mo dito yung ating sa variable niya. Kung may magkapareho pa. Since wala. Kasi dito sa mga variable natin, hindi lahat may X. Hindi lahat may Y. Hindi lahat may Z. Okay. So, therefore, number ito lang yung ating greatest common monomial factor. 2. Itong 2 lang. Okay. So, ito na yung ating final answer. I hope na gets ninyo yung ating topic. As kita-kits ulit sa ating next video lesson. Thank you!